Here's a little Mega Squirt idle tip. Well, probably any aftermarket engine management system, although we happen to be running Mega Squirt on Project VPU. You want to set your base idle to, I don't know, ideally about 100 RPM from target hot, you know, in neutral, AC off, or park if it's an automatic. No load on it, no fan running, nothing like that. So your, your minimum idle speed when the car is hot is going to be roughly 100 less than with the, the idle motor on. You're going to want to, on the Volvo one, you can't just unplug the idle motor. So you're going to want to take the hose, that, the inlet hose off here, plug that, and then there is a set screw and a lock nut, 8 millimeter lock nut, flathead screw that you want to adjust up or down to get your uh, idle, ideally within about 100 RPMs or so of your, your hot idle target. And you can see I, mine, mine's targeting 900. And I have the minimum idle PWM set at 36.8, which is 37. That's as low as it would go um, without undershooting the idle, the hot idle. And what you can do from here, if you really want it to come down to that 900, 850, whatever, is um, usually you can set up a timing skew to pull timing out at idle or add timing if it's under target, either way. Um, one of the ways you can do that, let's see, let's go up here. See where I set this stuff up. Well, it's, uh, idle settings. So you can see there the, the idle valve closed. It's not actually closed. That's just as low as the, the uh, algorithm will go. Closed would actually be 20, but you know this way you can keep it from closing too much. I mean, you can see we're right there, right at around 800 RPMs. It's not it's not far off. And what this will do is this will make it easier to set your cranking. Cranking idle duty control. If, if there's a failure, the car is still going to run. Um, things things like that. It just makes makes life a little bit easier. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is put some better fuel clamp or uh, fuel line clamps on my return line that keeps leaking. Uh, the, the goal for this project wasn't maximum you know miles per gallon, but dumping fuel on the ground really doesn't help the nominal the nominal MPGs. So we're gonna we're gonna do that next. No real reason to. Get that on film. I think y'all know how all that works, but uh, let's sit here. Probably ought to lean it out just a little bit at idle there. 1420 is a little, a little thick, and I think it's yeah. I was gonna say it's it's correcting, correcting the other way. So yep, there you go.